So I recently came across this video from Jomatech called Why You Need Math for Programming. And while I'll admit that I'm not super tuned into the YouTube developer space, the general consensus that I've seen from some research on these kind of videos is that people generally agree that you don't need math for computer science, knowing it won't give you any sort of real basic advantage, and also it's generally not going to be super useful to you in your life as a programmer. And while I agree that if you're just starting out in programming or your goal is just to get a job as a sort of low-level software developer, that you will be able to get away with not having a math background, I think that this is extremely short-sighted, and if you want to become a truly great developer, then understanding the math that underlies everything you're doing is super important. Just to clarify here, the math that I'm talking about, and I think this is really the problem with a lot of these videos, is a misunderstanding of what math is, uh, is not talking about things like calculus or algebra or things like that, which while a basic understanding of those is certainly useful in in a lot of computer science and programming applications uh, is not always super necessary, but what I'm talking about is actual computer science and the real theory and mathematics that underlies all of the practical tools that you use. So if we want to see this misunderstanding in action, we can take a look at the actual video from Jomatech. So you want to be a software no, engineer? No, Timmy, not the Leap code the clone ad. We've seen enough of that. Anyway, let's jump into Jomatech's actual video. So here we see it open on a disheveled Joma who is writing out some sort of algorithm and then writing it into code. Then a clean-shaven, uh, much more put-together looking Joma comes in, asks him what he's doing, and he explains that he is writing some code and shows what it does, which is render a rotating torus to the screen of his terminal emulator. So this code is a cool little toy, but again, it's not even something he wrote. But the main misunderstanding here is that it has absolutely nothing to do with the actual math that you need for programming, and a much more fitting title for this video would be Why You Need Math for Math. So he then moves on to his actual commercial pitch, uh, in which he is pitching you to join his data structures and algorithms course, which he hosts on his learning platform. Uh, again, I'm not going to get into my thoughts on these sort of business models right now, but what I do want to tackle is that this was a perfect, perfect opportunity for him to talk about the actual need for math and computer science, especially as he is then pitching a data structures and algorithms course, which is the actual reason why you would need something like mathematics in a programming world. So now let's talk about what kind of math you actually do need for programming. There are a lot that fall under the visor of computer science in general, like computability and optimization. Those are all math. Uh, there are some that are mathematical fields onto themselves, like graph theory. And then there are others that are more theoretical, still falling under the guise of computer science, like information theory, which while not directly applicable in a lot of scenarios, are really important to understand to get a good idea of how computing actually works. So considering how important all of these fields are to being a good developer, it's interesting that none of these big tech channels ever seem to talk about them. My theory as to why that is, is that most of them get most of their revenue from running these coding bootcamp type products like Joma class or any of the others that you might see. So when you're running a class like this, it is way out of the scope and is probably out of their scope as a teacher to actually explain these topics and give any sort of useful input on them. And because of that, it makes more sense just to not cover them and then deflect any sort of criticism by saying that they're not important anyway. Even just gaining exposure to these fields will make you a much better developer, because even though you technically don't need to learn these topics to know how to code or to build some things, doesn't mean that it's not good to know them. Because if you know them, then you don't have to just copy paste in algorithms and then treat them as a black box where they give you some sort of output for an expected input. You can rather understand what's going on, tune things to your specific needs, and also just much better optimize everything you do. Even just getting a super basic introduction to these topics can be extremely useful. Even if you don't know that much about a topic, knowing what sort of problems fall under what discipline can allow you to then search and figure out what you need to do. Let's say you had some sort of network that you needed to traverse. If you knew that you should look at some graph theory stuff for that, then you could eventually figure out that maybe the graph that you're looking at is a directed complete bipartite graph, and from there you could figure out some sort of optimizations you could make and figure out how to traverse it. Uh, whereas if you didn't know that and you just were going to brute force it and think through it by yourself, you might eventually come to a solution but it's probably not going to be optimal, and you probably could do a lot better if you knew the math behind it. The one problem is that these topics can be extremely daunting to people who don't have a background in that sort of math already, and therefore can drive them away from learning how to program and things like that, which is definitely not something you want early on. But once people do understand the syntax for what they're doing, I really do think it's important to understand the theory that works behind it as well. I think the best way to combat this is by making these topics more accessible. Right now, the best way to learn something like this would be to either take an 
an actual university course or to just read through a textbook and see what you get from that. So that's why I want to start a series of videos here where I will give a brief overview to these sort of topics and explain their applicability within the computer science and programming world. If that's something you're going to be interested in, be sure to get subscribed to me so you don't miss that in the future. These videos that I'm going to make on these topics are not going to be full courses. They're not going to give you expertise in these specific subjects because there are just too many of these topics and each of them are way too deep on their own to really allow something like that being realistic. Instead, what I'll be doing is giving you an overview of the topic, the different sort of areas of it that are applicable to computer science and mathematics, and where you can go to learn more on these topics. I'm going to be starting off that series with a video on graph theory, which in my opinion is one of the most applicable parts of mathematics to computer science and programming, as graphs are a data structure that come up all the time, and a lot of different problems can be solved by using some sort of graph-based method. Alongside that, I'm also going to be starting another tech by example series where I'm going to be covering data structures and algorithms. In that course, I'm going to go over all of the different aspects that you need to get ready for technical interviews and things of that sort, and also just different methods to optimize your code and make you a better developer overall. So that's going to be it for me for today. Hopefully now you have a better idea of why you really do need math for programming and why computer science is a super important field if you want to be a software developer. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and get subscribed to me so you don't miss anything from me in the future. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.